My name is Charlotte Foster. I am 14 years old. I live in Lawriston. I am here today to ask the planning committee members to consider my future and that of my generation when they make their decision on this planning application. In view of the duration of this development, 20 to 25 years, it will also threaten the generation following that. Please also bear that in mind. While this operation is classed as temporary by the planners, it is actually a long time in anyone's lifetime. Climate change is the thing that most threatens the security of future generations' developments, such as those proposed at West Newton, contribute to the causes of climate change in their construction, production operations, and in what they produce. Construction of the extension to the well site will involve 60 heavy goods vehicle journeys per day through the communities on the access route to the well site. Over the 12 weeks of work, there will be an excess of 3,600 heavy goods vehicle journeys. The other operations required to drill, treat, clean up and test the 60 wells will involve in total in excess of 35,000 heavy goods vehicle journeys. Once in production, 10 heavy goods vehicle journeys, oil tankers, would move oil from the well site to a refinery on the south bank of the Humber Estuary, 12 hours per day, seven days per week. And over the proposed 20 years of the operation, this will involve approximately 146,000 vehicle journeys, all passing through small rural communities. Beyond the, lo the area local to the well site, these vehicles will pass along the main routes through Hull and in the vicinity of Beverley to reach the Humber Bridge. Every one of these journeys polluting the route by the emission of diesel fumes, brake dust and tyre rubber, all of these harmful to the members of the communities through which they pass and to the environment in general. During the exploration of the six wells to be drilled and brought into the production on this site, raw natural gas will be flared, producing an estimated 20,000 tonnes equivalent of CO2, which will be vented to the atmosphere of East Yorkshire, which is already, with Humberside, the worst county in the UK for CO2 emissions. None of the gas will be used for energy production to serve the UK at all. During all these operations, electricity on the well site will be provided by diesel generators, further polluting the atmosphere. In the planning application, the applicant draws comp comparison with the pollution caused by oil it will produce from the well site and that produced from foreign well sites. They claim that with the mitigation measures that they propose, generating electricity from waste gas, the oil produced at West Newton, will generate less than 50% of the pollution caused by the production of the same amount of oil from well sites abroad. What they fail to do is factor in the road transport of this oil from the well pad to the refinery, which is extremely polluting. They do not compare this with the transport methods used to bring oil into the UK. The comparison is therefore incomplete. It must also be remembered that waste gas powered generator exhaust is still a pollutant contributing to climate change. If this development is allowed to proceed, it flies in the face of the advice received from a steadily increasing number of sources whose views we hear from the news and other broadcasts every day. Included in these is the United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, quoting from the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, Working Group 1 report, he said, drilling for oil in 2021 is code red for humanity. He also stated that the report sounds the death knell for fossil fuels before they destroy our planet. I also quote I Prime Minister in his recent speech to the United Nations, and the tragedy is that because of our past inaction, there are further rises in temperature that are already baked in. Baked is the word. And if we keep on the current track, then the temperatures will go up by 2.7 or more by the end of the century. And never mind what that will do to the ice flows, we will see desertification, drought, crop failure, and mass movements of humanity on a scale not seen before. Not because of some unforeseen natural event or disaster, but because of us because of what we are doing now. And our grandchildren will know that we are the culprits and that we were warned, and they will know that it was this generation that came center stage to speak and act on behalf of posterity, and that we missed our cue, and they will ask what kind of people we were to be so selfish and so short-sighted. End of quotation. Do I need to say more? If you are to prevent this from being true, then you must act now, in line with the climate emergency you have already declared and recognized. Say no to this development and save my generation and its successors from the fate described by our Prime Minister. Plenty of other councils like Leeds and Cumbria, who have also declared climate emergencies, 
have used that very reason to refuse planning applications and we respectfully urge you to do the same here. Thank you for your attention.